I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you. Working hard is not enough to guarantee success as a hunter. And you also have to overcome some critical limitations to how your mind works. You need to work smart. Neuroscience has helped us flag this problem. And fortunately, neuroscience can also point you towards a simple solution, which you'll get in this video after the introduction. Welcome to the Red Kettle channel. This is where you get updates on product development and tips and tricks for efficient hunting. Today, it's all about critical hunting lessons from neuroscience. If you're like me, you wanna live up to your role as a hunter and steward of nature, which includes harvesting wild animals with a minimum of effort. Here's the challenge. To shoot and kill the animal you're hunting, you must read the situation, establish options, select one and deliver it flawlessly. That requires coordination of skills and knowledge. All that becomes second nature if you hunted the same ground for years with the same equipment. But three scenarios will make it difficult. Throw a spanner in your works. One, when you're new to hunting. Two, if you're hunting new ground. Or three, if you make a significant change to your gear setup. New is a keyword here. And it means you get more things to consider, which is a problem because your working memory can only hold about four things at once more and you start dropping the ball. You might underestimate the force or direction of the wind as I once did in Scotland. Don't go there. Or you might be too slow getting set up for the shot and see the animal leave. Which once happened to me in Kazakhstan? It's not all doom and gloom. Barbara Oakley is a learning expert and she's got the solution for you. One that's rooted in neuroscience. In addition to your working memory, you also have a long-term memory. And if you move things from your working memory into your long-term memory, you don't have to process them active. Skills, for example, become second nature. So what can you, a hunter, learn from your signs? Well, that you must practice and hone all your skills until they move from your working memory to your long-term memory. You've got to develop unconscious competence. Fantastic. So the solution to hunting Nirvana is hard work and practice, right? Not so fast, Tiger. Working hard is just the entry ticket. You need to work smart if you want to succeed. What do I mean by smart? Well, you've got to make sure you practice the right things. Peter Drucker, management genius, has something to say about that. There's a number of questions you've got to be able to answer. Why do you use a particular technique? Why do you use a particular piece of gear? Or why do you use a specific tactic? I use five questions to guide me from big picture to specific skills and techniques in order to work smart. Here's a link to the video if you want more details on the questions. All that work starts with a solid understanding of a particular hunting situation. And when it's ready, I'll link to a video with more detail on what I call the situation summary. So here's the takeaway. Work smart, not just hard. Make sure you pick the right gear and practice till you can use it effortlessly. That way you'll have full mental capacity to focus on the actual hunting. Hunting is more fun when you bring home wild meat and a trophy on your wall and we owe it to nature to honor our roles of stewards of nature. Check out the What Can Hunters Learn From playlist for more inspiration. 